Well, there are so many traditions associated with the Thanksgiving meal, and each family puts its own twist on the annual feast. The same is true inside Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen, where this month Holly and AJ take that tradition and mix in some Mexican flavor. Cue the music. Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. And by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board. Rice, a world of great ideas. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Hey there folks, I'm AJ Sabine and welcome to this special holiday edition of Holly Clegg's Shrimp and Terrific Kitchen. Holly, it's November, it's time for Thanksgiving, and while the guys are around the armchair watching the Dallas Cowboys this Thanksgiving, you've got something else that we can do with this Oh, book. no, 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 I knew he'd want that beer. That's going to be for our special beer bread, which is just three ingredients. If you like hot bread coming out of the oven, this who is my like, favorite. Well, who doesn't like beer? Yeah, and I use the Bud Light beer, and it's light, trim, and terrific. Okay, it is Thanksgiving. Everybody's busy in their kitchens. Everybody has tired of cooking, and every time you turn on the TV or read a magazine, it's holiday recipes. So I'm going to take a switch and get you that daily dinner. My new cookbook, Kitchen 101, has a whole section with rotisserie chicken recipes. Well, let's get started. So this is what we've started with. We're just going to have rotisserie chicken, and, you know, it's... Thanksgiving. This is a great leftover meal if you have a holiday dinner. You can use turkey. And then we'll let you add the ingredients. This is just canned black olives. Add them. Yeah. And then we're going to add a little green enchilada sauce. Go, I just go on to add everything. Green enchilada sauce. And I use the green because it's just a little milder. I think it really complements, you know, it's not as heavy. A little cumin. And cumin adds a little smoky flavor to your dish, green onions, I, that makes everything pop out of flavor, and it adds a lot of color. And this is non-fat yogurt, just a half a cup of that. All right, let's, and I love the Greek yogurt, it's a lot creamier and, okay. And then one 14 and a half can of fire roasted tomatoes. You could use any diced tomatoes, I love the fire roasted. They really add to the intensity of the dish. Now this is so simple, you see, I'll let you finish mixing that. and. Now, we're gonna feature Louisiana rice. What I said about this being leftover, if you have yellow rice, white rice, brown rice, uh, wild rice, whatever, you can use it in this dish. So we're just gonna, it's a layer, we're gonna coat it with nonstick cooking spray, and we're gonna use our Louisiana rice. And speaking of Louisiana rice, did you know, Holly, that more, nearly 14% of all the rice grown in this country comes from right here in Louisiana? I did, because I know Louisiana has the best rice of all. So here, and did you know that one cup of white rice has one gram of fiber and a cup of brown rice has three and a half grams of fiber? So that's an easy transition to make. We're doing this, and then black beans, if you've heard me say, it's a nutritional bargain, but you always want to rinse and drain them. It reduces the sodium of your black beans, okay? And then we're just gonna put this. May here. I? Yes, please, here. We're just going to layer a layer of our wonderful, savory, great flavors all together. This is one of these to die for tasting casseroles. Now, okay. folks, Holly needs to put this in the uh, oven. And when we come back, Wait. we're going to show, oh, oh, I forgot. Oh, we have sorry. to have cheese. We're, and then you're going to put it in the oven. Okay, okay. let's do We're going to do reduced fat. You know, it's my kitchen. I have to have control over my dish. Yes, ma'am. Okay, then we're going to put reduced fat cheese on the top. And then... We're going to bake it. We'll show you how this looks once it gets out of the oven. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back. All right, folks, we're back, and Holly has taken this beautiful Mexican dish, piping hot out of the oven. Folks, take a look at it. Holly, you've outdone yourself again. It's gorgeous. No, I really didn't. It's so simple to make, and I can't wait for you to try it. Ooh, it was layers of rice and black beans and... All kinds of great ingredients. Remember, it's a good leftover dish, too, featuring our Louisiana rice, which we have so nicely. Here's this. You can try that. And then the bear bread. Now, I have, a, I have a secret I have to tell you. See how it's sliced? I did that on TV because I took a piece right hot out of the oven. I never could resist bread. So in my photos or anywhere, if you see it sliced, I've been eating it. And this is the bear bread, three ingredients, self-rising flour. Uh, we used our Bud Light beer and a little sugar, that's about it. This is wonderful. I love how the, the tomatoes and the green onions work together with the chicken. It's absolutely marvelous. 
It's a very flavorful casserole. And as I said, it's a great for leftovers the next day after Thanksgiving. When you're tired of all that Thanksgiving food, use your rice. And be creative. If you have some other ingredients, toss it in. Remember, cooking is creative. Now, Holly, you said you have beer in here. You can use any kind of beer that you no, like? No, we use light beer. And I always use Bud Light. And all these recipes are trim and terrific. This particular recipe is from my rotisserie chicken section casserole. Uh, ch rotisserie chicken chapter, which has tons of rotisserie chicken recipes. Or if you have leftover baked chicken, whatever. But all the recipes have your nutritional information and your diabetic exchanges. And folks, if you'd like more information about Louisiana rice or anything that we are doing in Holly's Kitchen, you can always log on to our website at twilighttv.org. And if you want some more of my recipes, and you must join my monthly menu newsletter. It's fabulous with a lot of tips on my website, which is just hollyclegg.com. Holly, I'm going to taste this bread. Why don't you tell, wish the folks a happy Thanksgiving, yeah? That's right. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving to you and your family, and we'll see you next month while he's eating. Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board, Louisiana Crawfish, Ask Before You Eat, and by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, Rice, a world of great ideas, and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council, Beef. It's what's for dinner.